My name is Wilson Dibley Hoyt. I'm a photojournalist. I teach photography. I live on a cattle ranch just south of Lompoc, California. I live in what I call off-campus housing. I live across the road from the main part of the ranch, up a little dirt road all by itself in an old farmhouse that's probably 110 years old. I was out walking one day, climbing up a hill, and I was trying to get a photograph of the whole valley below me. And on the way back down, I started experiencing some chest pains and sweating and got in the car, and then I suddenly realized, oh, I don't feel so good. They stuck me in a big box ambulance and took me to Cottage Hospital. The doctor told me that there was a research study being done by Cedar sinai that they wanted anybody who had a heart attack. I said, sign me up. And I thought, boy, if this does anything for cardio research, I'll, I'll step in and do it. What happened at Cedar sinai I went in, Dr. Lil came in, they had me already set up on I IVs, and I just lay on my stomach and he took a, I call it an auger, and he took out 100 cc's of bone marrow out of my back, and that was the process of getting the stem cells, because they were in the bone marrow. And when I went into the cardio cath lab that afternoon, they were able to take those stem cells and reinsert them into my cardiac arteries. It's known that cardiac tissue does not normally grow back after it's been damaged by a heart attack, so this would all be leading edge research. Dr. McCarr is the guy who's responsible for the stem cell stuff, and it's obvious to me he's very dedicated to what he does, and Dr. Lil too. I think both of these doctors, they've got their heads and their hearts in the perfect place. A month later, I was on an airplane leaving LAX and flying to Moscow. I went to Russia for a couple of weeks. I was photographing artwork. I was photographing anything I saw, any people I saw. Considering what had just happened, I was like, yeah, this is great. It's a wake-up call. It says, look, you know, your life is precious and it's limited and you better enjoy every little bit of it you can. But I think this whole study is a good thing because it gives people an opportunity to repair some things so they can get on and make better choices. I kind of got a new lease on life, I figure.